Well hello and welcome to my latest video. You find me in my new studio garage. Garage. An American way of saying things. Garage. My, my new studio garage. And here you can see my latest Bompton. Now you're going to say to yourself, Julian, we watched 10 Reasons Not to Buy a Bompton, uh, along with incidentally 30,000 other people. And now you've gone and spoiled it all because you've bought another Bompton. Well, yes, I have. And not only have I bought a Bompton, but I've decided to get into Brompton upgrades, yes. Now this is this is a thing, as you may know if you have a Bompton, if you don't have a Bompton, but you've got a leaflet with it. And uh, it says in the leaflet, you've got to now spend at least as much as you spend on the Bompton on the upgrades uh, to turn it into a completely different bike, which is what I'm in the process of doing. So. This is in the nature of the kind of unboxing, which is why I'm wearing the, the very, but these, uh, these first two items, look at this, you're thinking, Julia, what have you, what have you done? You've bought, you've bought a bolt, you've bought a fucking bolt. Well, not only did I buy one little fucking bolt, I bought another fucking bolt. Now, what are these bolts? Well, first of all, they are titanium. Now, I say titanium. Some people, I think, say titanium. Um, some people may even say it's titanium. Oh, uh, titanium, titanium, but I say titanium. And titanium is, I don't know what a titanium is, actually. It's a kind of metal. But whether it's an alloy or whether you mine it in uh, big titanium mines uh, somewhere in the world, like apparently they mine cobalt. Now, is cobalt something that they use in AI, or is it something that they use in electric car batteries? I'm not really well up on the news. I've kind of been distracted by Philip Schofield and a few other things going on. But anyway, this is a titanium bolt for the seat clamp on the Bompton. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, yes, you can actually. It's just there where my finger is pointing. It's sort of hidden. And this is a stem bolt and it's a bolt that holds the handlebars to the stem. Now I will do a, a little bit of video showing me actually attaching these all the other bolts so what you do is you bolt them in. But that's not the only thing I'm unboxing. I have here this. Now you're thinking Julian what is that? Is that a stick to beat people with? Is it uh, some kind of crutch to support yourself as you uh, totter dodderingly into even older age? Or is it? Well, let's find out, shall we, as we unfurl this rather tasty bit of um, plastic. And that's not, I did, I did buy this instead of wrapping. And put that, is that not attractive? Well, what is it? It's a pole, yes. It's a seat post, but more importantly, it is a titanium or titanium seat post. And it is lighter than the normal seat post. Now, most people who do these kind of Brompton videos, they get a set of scales and they put this on the, on the scales and they say, oh, look, this saves 11 grams or 14 grams or whatever it is. To be honest, I can't be asked. I really just can't be asked. I mean, it is lighter, and yes, I'm quite keen on making the bike lighter, but I'm not, I'm not obsessive about it. Do, do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I'm just kind of interested in, I suppose, getting bits and, and upgrading the bomb. And, and yes, making it lighter, but in terms of whether it's four grams or whether it's six grams. Do you remember, do you remember back when, when we were all younger and we had high five? Do you remember? And they kept on bringing out hi-fis that had better and better sound. And I was one of those people who'd say, I can't tell the difference. Really, come on. You know, this, this guy's got a 18 grand amplifier or something. He says, listen to the sound of this. And I think mean, it's just the same as every other sound. You know, I mean, hi-fi is hi-fi. Okay, some of it's a bit better than others, but you know what I mean. And it's a bit the same with this, you know, this kind of weight saving. You think, oh, what have you saved? 11 grams or 9 grams, as if, as if you know, I know even what a gram weighs, which, which I don't, never mind 11 grams. 
So it's not just about weight saving, it's about, I don't know, keeping busy, if you like. I mean, why not keep busy in our old age? So this is a titanium seat post, slightly longer than a normal seat post, and I will fit these three items to the bicycle so you will see and be able to enjoy that particular activity. So let's go over to the Bompton. Well, I actually have the Bompton here, but let's get stuck in, shall we? Come with me. Okay, well, we're going to start by removing the current stem bolt. And the current stem bolt is this one. So that's this one here that my finger is pointing at. So we need to use a tool, obviously, and we're going to use this tool, which is actually a silker tool. And I did do a video of this, actually, and I think some people were not sniffy about the video because I had trouble working out how to use it. Although I did eventually work it out. So I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to do what I've done in a couple of recent videos. Sorry, you can't see me. Um, what I've done in a couple of recent videos and that is I won't talk so I can speed up this bit because some people have complained about my videos being a bit too slow. Hmm. That, um, that bolt doesn't want to come undone. I'm going to get a different tool. Try with this. This is a park tool wrench, and that's the wrong size. Heaven's sake. Right, try again. That's better. one non-titanium stem bolt. One titanium stem bolt. Now, be honest, can you tell the difference? I bet if I can. Anyway, put that in there. Oh, that bike feels lighter already. <laughs> so, one titanium stem bolt. Now, I am the sort of person, as you well know, who is perfectly capable of removing the seat post, which is here, forgetting that it is the seat post that is clamped into this bicycle stand. But I'm one step ahead of you, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to change the way the bike is supported on the stand. Okay, here we have the original steel seat post on the P-line. I'll just undo the clamp there and I can uh, actually the seat post actually has to drop out, which means I need to remove the saddle uh, and the pentaclip from the seat post in order to enable it to do that. So let me just tighten that up. Let me go around the other side and undo the pentaclip, which is here. And I'm, let me see if you can see that. Can you, can you turn that around? Like that. So what I'm going to do is undo this bolt, which holds the pentaclip together and holds the saddle onto the seat post. So I'm going to take that out. assembly is probably going to fall out now, isn't it? And I want to replace that with 
this titanium bolt, which I have here. And I'm going to struggle to do this because I can't actually see what I'm doing. Which I think I have done it. So I'll just tighten that up. Oh, <laughs> that was silly, wasn't it? I was supposed to take the saddle off so I could drop the seat post out. God, these videos can be difficult sometimes. Now I think maybe I have to release the release that to and I don't it's because that's still done up, isn't it? So there is the original seat post. Here is the new seat post. And it is, it is noticeably lighter, but as I said, I can't, I can't say how many grams lighter it is. And we'll thread that up. Through there. I'll just put that like that. Because I want to put the saddle back on it. Obviously, uh, sorry, I had to switch the video off and stop doing that simply because I couldn't see well enough to see what I was doing. But I've now put the saddle back on the new titanium seat post with the titanium bolt which you may just be able to see here and this is the taller seat post so it should raise it up to a height that is comfortable for me to ride on. So there you are a titanium stem bolt, a titanium uh, seat bolt and a titanium seat post upgrades to the Bonton. Sorry if this video has been a bit long-winded and not particularly helpful, but if you are uh, any sort of a fan or non-fan of my videos, you will know, sorry, I keep on to duck behind this seat post in case somebody's coming after me, uh, you will know that those are actually the kind of videos that I make. So I hope you've enjoyed well, that's enjoy is the wrong word, but I hope you've kind of enjoyed watching this. And uh, see you next time for the next upgrade.